Wisconsin State Correctional Facilities are reporting a 30% vacancy rate for corrections officers. Over the past two years, that's also been a challenge at the county level. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen was at the Monroe County Jail today, where the sheriff says his department is finally bucking the trend. All hands on deck. Just the amount of work that they were putting in, of course you get tired, you start seeing fatigue, uh, it's just a very stressful time. At the Monroe County Jail, Sheriff Wes Revels and his officers are familiar. We have uh, mandatory uh, corrections posts uh, that need to be covered. Uh, it's not that we can leave uh, those positions or those responsibilities vacant. During the past two years, corrections staff in Monroe County dropped significantly. Out of that group of 25 uh, corrections officers who largely are responsible for the care and the custody of the inmates, we were down nine at one point. Revels said they left for a variety of reasons. Some uh, uh, leaving for uh, higher paying uh, private sector jobs. Monroe County staff typically work a 12 hour shift. The staff shortage stretched shifts even longer. They're working uh, uh, sometimes 16s and then having come back for another 16. Uh, and uh, that's, that's uh, very hard on them, very stressful. But now, staff are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. We have uh, just uh, one vacancy uh, that we made an offer uh, on just uh, a couple of days ago. It means a lot for a staff that has already pushed through so many challenges. With a fresh crop coming in, leaders are already seeing a change. We're house coming back, uh, people are more lighthearted, and it just feels good to know that we have a full complement. In Monroe County, Emily Haugen, News 8 Now. And both Revels and Hendrickson aren't sure what caused the spike. Whatever it is, they are thankful. The newest group of corrections officers will be fully trained by mid-August.